Understanding the phrase, exit. Hello, dear learners. Today, we're going to dive into the meaning and usage of the word, exit. If you've ever been curious about this common English word, stay tuned, because we're about to explore its various contexts and implications. By the end, you'll be able to use exit confidently in your conversations. Exit generally means to go out or leave a particular place. It's both a noun and a verb. As a noun, it indicates a way out, like a door. As a verb, it describes the action of leaving. Noun, the exit is on the left. Verb, please exit the building. When exit is used in different contexts, its meaning can slightly vary. 1. Theater and films. In plays and movies, exit can be a direction given to actors to leave the stage or set. 2. After delivering his lines, the character exits the stage. 3. Computers. In software or applications, exit usually means to close the program or app. 4. To save your work and exit the application, click on the X button. 5. Business. In the world of business, exit can refer to a strategy or plan to sell a company or investment. 6. The entrepreneur's exit strategy involves selling the company after five years. Exit isn't just used on its own. There are several phrases and idioms that incorporate this word. 1. Exit interview. A meeting between an employee who is leaving a company and a representative from the HR department to discuss the employee's experiences and reasons for leaving. 2. Before Jane left her job, she had an exit interview with HR. 3. Exit poll. A survey taken as people leave a polling place, used to predict the outcome of an election. 4. The exit polls indicated a close race between the two candidates. 5. Exit wound. A wound where a projectile, like a bullet, exits the body. 6. The entry wound was small, but the exit wound was much larger. And there you have it. From its basic definition to its varied uses in different contexts, we've taken a close look at the word, exit. We hope this has been enlightening. And now, whenever you come across this word, you'll know exactly what it means and how to use it. Remember, English is a vast language with many nuances, and the key to mastering it is understanding these nuances. Until next time, happy learning!